तदिधि मनस्तुभ्यम कर्मसु ईड्यात्मशक्तिषु यशो विश्वक अमुत्र चा भवेत गति सो द कॉन्टेक्स्ट इज दैट ब्रह्मा हैज क्रिएटेड मैनी मैनी सन्स एंड इन द लास्ट ही क्रिएटेड स्वयंभू मनु एंड शत्रुपा विच इज केम आउट फ्रॉम द बॉडी ऑफ ब्रह्मा वेन द केम सो मनु is now addressing to the lord brahma tad videhi namastubhyam so he is paying obeisances and uh, he is asking karma su id atma shakti su please instruct me what should i what should i do and that should be in atma shakti su in capacity of my so uh he is asking uh, brahma to direct me give me direction what should i do next and it is said it yad kritve yasho vishvak prabhupada is writing the purport kritve means by doing the activity which is assigned by superior yasho vishvak one will achieve the fame even in this life yasho vishvak amutra cha bhavet gati so he will achieve the fame in this life and amutra means in the next life cha bhavet gati and in the next life he will achieve the his desired destination so Shila Prabhupada is mentioning in the purport very nicely the very first sentence Brahma is a direct recipient of vedic knowledge from the personality of godhead and any one discharging his interested duties in disciplic succession from Brahma is sure to gain fame in this life and salvation in the next if one is adhered to uh his interested duties which is given by the spiritual master and coming through disciplic succession if one follows or one uh endeavor to uh do those duties Uh, sincerely then he will gain the fame you know people want to become famous uh, uh, the real fame na no, like in the conversation of uh, ramanand rai and chetan mahaprabhu so chetan mahaprabhu what is the real fame real fame to become unalloyed devotee of krishna is a real fame so we all want to become the real if you want to become famous uh, so that's a real fame so so those duties uh, which are interested one to disciplic succession don't manufacture duties huh? he had asked is not something he got it then he start thinking what is my duty and start doing no he is asking to brahma ji please tell me what is my duty and within my capacity so so prabhupada writes one of the purport one must take shelter of one of these four sampradaya which we know in order to understand the most confidential religious system the religious system means purpose of my life purpose of my existence so in the padma puran it is said sampradaya Behind a mantra, the nisphala mata. If one does not follow the four recognized disciplic succession, his mantra or initiation is useless. So why it is important to get initiated to link with the uh, 
द ऑथराइज बोनोफाइड डिसेबलिक सक्सेशन अदरवाइज हा ना इस कॉल निस्फला मत मंत्र निस्फला सो हिज मंत्र और इनिशिएशन यूजलेस सो सो टू गेट लिंक और टू गेट अनोस टू गेट इनिशिएटेड बाय बोनोफाइड स्पीचल मास्टर who comes in a bona fide disaplex succession as a great fortune for a person is something like na uh, you got a admission in the best college just do a little study you will graduate from the institution so uh so this disaplex succession which is being mentioned by shila prabhupada and uh, once so happens one of the journalists asked shila prabhupada swami ji uh, i understand or i got to know uh, your the teachings or your uh, your succession what you are trying to teach uh, it's a bona fide and if one follow that journalist know about something about prabhupada and the details if one follow uh, he will surely achieve the desire result and go back to god head krishna is any other means is any other be other than your institution other than what you are trying to teach us krishna consciousness is any other means by which in this life one can achieve the Desire success to go back to Krishna. Prabodha Vari emphatically answers no. There is no way one can achieve uh, uh, the 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 spiritual world go back to Godhead. There is no way if one has to go in this life. For this, there is no way other than this. even uh, when uh, bhakti sri thakur maharaj there was there lot of confusion was there lot of uh, uh, na one um, brahma the narada narada is multiple disciple what is the real chain which start from brahma to uh, bhakti sri thakur maharaj so as we know all of us uh, bhakti siddhan thakur maharaj he compiled a, a very famous song it's called guru parampara and that guru pampara he gave the exact straight line which is beginning from krishna to brahma to narada and in that particular uh, song written by bhakti sathakur maharaj he mentioned ihara param hansa gorangere nij vansa तादेर चरण मम गति आमी सेवा उदासीन नामेते त्रिदंडी दीन श्री भक्ति सिद्धांता सरस्वती सो इस यहार परम हंसा इन दिस परम हंसा दिस ऑल बीइंग मेंशन और इन द डिसेपिक सक्सेशन गोरंगेर निज वंसा they all are the member of the uh, spiritual family of goranga so those who are mentioned by bhakti sri thakur maharaj uh, in this guru shish parampara they all are the sprutna the transcend goes that says these great saintly vaishnavas are all paramhansas or devotee of the highest order and they are all part of lord goranga's own spiritual family their holy fit are my refuse i have no real interest in devotional service and i am a poor and lowly tridandi sanyasi named shri bhakti siddhanta saraswati so that a very humble uh, position a uh, very humble bhakti sthakur maharaj is mentioning the whole uh, chakra of the parampara and saying uh, na i am very lowly i have no real interest in devotion service so 
So here we see uh, uh, the, all the Acharya which has appeared. Even the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says they all were extremely humble. And even uh, uh, the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna describes 20 items of knowledge. First, start with Amanitam. Amanitam is humility. So, without humility, we can never uh, progress in the spiritual path. And humility is nothing to show, it's a core of the heart. As long as we are searching after some material satisfaction, some material honor, some, uh, uh, some popularity, some uh, so till then, uh, we can never uh, proceed to our real destination. And all these uh, Acharya, they are the liberated Paramahansas, they are all liberated souls and that is the reason they were able to give the perfect knowledge. As Prabhupada mentioned, the conditioned soul as we are uh, will uh, always uh, prompt to have many defects. Now for a conditioned soul has a defect, imperfect sense is to get illusion cheating propensity and illusion, imperfect sense of cheating propensity and committing mistake. So, fertile mind of any intellectual, so-called intellectuals in this material world, whatever they is even defective. And uh, the spiritual knowledge especially is not a simple words. It has to be realized by practice. So one can um, learn so many things, but unless he practice, he will not be able to realize the knowledge. And unless he serve his spiritual master, tad vidhi pari patena pari prishnena sevya updikchantite jnanam jnanina tad darshana. So by Serving the spiritual master and Prabhupada says serving as it is, whatever being told to you by the spiritual master. Don't use a fertile mind. Okay, no, no, how it will happen? Let us make it more better. Gure Murke Murkha Deki Karulasa. Even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Lord Himself. He is teaching us uh, the how one has to follow and how one has to be before the spiritual master. Even when Srila Prabhupada got instructions from uh, Bhakti Sintakur Maharaj to, uh, to preach to the English speaking world and the right uh, books, distribute books and English language. Prabhupada has not used that time 19 uh, 31, 32, 33, uh, that uh, uh, primitive, uh, that he is asking in India, Prabhupada and Vrindavan or in Calcutta to write books in English and preach to English people. He never thought of how people understand English now. That time, if you saw, very few people were knowing English. And also, Prabhupada is not taught how we will go to America, who will take. I know they will not take it. Let us do here only. Buddha took it, the instructions from Bhakti Sivana, as it is. So, uh, so when we take instructions from a spiritual master and, and try to follow uh, as it is without our, uh, uh, without our selfish uh, motive or interpretation, then Buddha says, we get the mercy of whole Guru Shish Parampara. So we sincerely take the instructions and follow, then uh, there is no doubt of getting the blessings of the whole uh, Guru Shish Parampara. And Prabhupada says, any task if we take it, take it up by under the guidance of the spiritual master, under the order of the spiritual master, 
then the success rest assured. Can you see the whole Guru Parampara start working in that direction? And that to the whole, uh, the, the, uh, the internal energy of Krishna working to fulfill the, your task. So we have to uh, become the, just puppet into the hand of uh, disabled succession. So it says, regarding your request for your deliverance from the clutches of Maya, please rest assured of being delivered because we have captured the strong chain of disciplic succession. So the, the capturing means yeah, physically capturing is one and uh, following the instruction in Toto. Following the instructions of speech and master in Toto, the life and soul. Now Vishnu Chakra Thakur Maharaj says that disciples only one duty to and to order his future master to take his life and soul. He is least bothered about his going back to God and what is happening. Just he wished to fulfill the desire of his future master. So, so somebody is asked, so Prabhupada is answering. <coughs> so, no, you're delivered. Please rest assured of being delivered because we have captured the strong chain of disciplic succession. This chain is coming down from the highest platform, Krishna, just like a rope coming down the well, so that anyone, whoever may, catches the rope from any position. Now, rope is coming. Some there are different position. People are there from wherever you catch, whichever position you are. So, just like a rope coming down the well. So that anyone who may catch the rope from any position is sure to be delivered. So our aim should be to not give up the rope. We must capture the rope very tightly. Then our deliverance is assured. So when uh, when we uh, have a strong desire to fulfill uh, uh, the assigned task given by the spiritual master or to fulfill the desire of a spiritual master, then nothing can come uh, uh, between us and to achieve the task. So for the road to this Brahmananda in the beginning days. And further in other place, Prabhu is writing, one who understand and appreciate the disciplic succession is certainly advanced. Like Bhakti Sathaka Mahara saying, is it? See, Gorangira Bansa. They're all spiritual. They are the part of the spiritual family of Goranga. So, one who understands and appreciates the disciplic succession is certainly advanced. And we should always be very careful to give full respect to those who have so carefully handled this divine fruit of transcendental knowledge before us. So, so we should be very, very thankful uh, to the all great Acharyas. Uh, by the mercy, um, we are able to get the, uh, the divine fruit of transcendental knowledge. Even a slight change will spoil it. So Prabhupada always said, uh, I have no qualification. If I only have a qualification, I just repeated the words of my spiritual master. So, so, so having full faith and uh, whatever position we may be, rest assured will be delivered. And don't change, Prabhupada says, don't, don't change it. So when change happens, then evam param param praptam, evam rashu, sa kale namayata, you go and start, it get broken. The link get broken if you change, if you put your mind. Uh, Prabhupada times, there was one disciple in uh, Bombay, Juhu temple. He was a pujari. He served for many years pujari. He was not from 
a very lucrative background he was from some village or some very uh, not very then some few school he had gone so he asked prabhupada see you got very exalted very learned disciples and even the foreigners they used to speak very good english lot of caliber they have but i am a very uh, small this thing <laughs> i am simply doing some pujari here and because and i don't have this anything so uh, something will happen to me <laughs> i will advance or i will something happen so so prabhupada says said don't worry uh, just follow what is being told by the authorities and uh, uh, you definitely will advance and then he said no no prabhupada i don't know much also uh, i cannot read so much i cannot understand i don't have a much intelligence so prabhupada said in the particular to this devotee prabhupada uh, says in the gaur aarti when evening happens come gaur aarti and dance for chaitanya mahaprabhu we'll go back to gaur dham <laughs> so and and he took it very seriously that instruction of prabhupada so so even a slight change will spoil it that is why i have always been so careful to give you only those thing which i have heard from my spiritual master guru maharaj so somebody a prabhupada how can how how one can become a good preacher prabhupada says just repeat my purports cram my purports and put in your language so that faith we must have prabhupada words because they are the transcendental words our so called good skills may only touch their maybe brain or maybe little intelligent but it not able to touch the soul so that pure knowledge bishra prabhupada is given then it so happens one time of prabhupada uh, <clears throat> to in the hans do the prabhupada is writing uh, so somebody start uh, no just i read regarding the poison effect in our society it is a fact and i know where from this poison tree has spring up and how it affects practically the whole society in a very dangerous form there are some devotees or some internal they start uh, uh, creating some uh, some confusion and more so uh, there are some devotees they start reading some other books so so but it does not matter for the same pailad maharaj was administered poison but it did not act similarly the pandavas were administered poison and it did not act i think in the same parampara system that the poison administered to our society will not act if some of our students are as good as pailad maharaj so but if not at least some of the my disciples become very pure then no impurities can burst into the society so that over the and elsewhere over the mentioning in the letter thank you very much for your appreciation of my books and letters and for my speaking in all meetings they are not my words as i have repeatedly informed you that i am simply the bearer of the message from lord chaitanya through the <coughs> disciple succession i do not make any addition even addition also not subtraction similarly if you all carry these words successively then the transcendental parampara system will be exactly maintained and people in general will be benefited so that succession can be maintained if we do not spoil it for us we do not adulterate in management is a good leader is who create the good succession so 
good leader is not who does not create a succession he just he simply remains in one pet so creating good success is also the sign of leadership at least in management even uh, we see uh, even you know pampara where it is met or even uh, prabhupada there is a beautiful verse uh, in bhagavatam where brahma is uh, telling to uh, uh, narad muni idam bhagavatam nama yanne bhagavato ditam sangroham vibhutina tame tam etat viplu kuru viplu kuru means uh, he is saying brahma is saying to narada o narada this science of god shrimad bhagavatam see brahma god chatur sloki bhagavatam he gave narada little more expanded form so he is saying o narada this science of god which is called shrimad bhagavatam was spoken to me in summary by the supreme personality of godhead it was spoken as the accumulation of his divine potency please expand this science yourself so see he said i got this knowledge i am giving some knowledge please try to expand expand means here don't uh, put anything extra whatever is there explain it very nicely so that the counter prairies uh, uh, the the spiritual seekers uh, could able to understand so so in the parpar pavad is writing bhagavatam is a nut shell is spoken by the supreme personality of godhead in about half a dozen verses na no? four verses plus two more verses in the beginning from 29 31 to 36 which will appear ahead as a science of god and it is potent representation of personality of godhead so bhagavatam is the science is also potent representation of personality of godhead now in the 1340 in the beginning it is said idam bhagavatam nama puranam brahm samhitam so the bhagavatam is a representation of lord he being the absolute is non different from the science of god called shrimad bhagavatam so lord is non different from shrimad bhagavatam brahma ji received this science of god from the lord directly and he handed over the same to narada who in his in turn ordered shila vyasa deva to expand it so the transcendental knowledge of supreme lord is not mental speculation by mundane wranglers but is uncontaminated eternal perfect knowledge beyond the jurisdiction of material molds the bhagavat purana is there for the direct incarnation of the lord in the form of transcendental sound and once you receive the transcendental knowledge from the bona fide representation of the lord in the chain of disciplic succession from the lord to brahma brahma to narada narada to vyasa vyasa deva to sukhdev goswami and sukhdev goswami to sud goswami like this the ripened fruit of vedic tree drops from one hand to another without being broken by falling suddenly from a high branch down to the earth So it's not something we say. I have realized. Uh, I have understood. It's all coming from the Sabbath school. Therefore, unless one hears the science of Godhead from a bona fide representative of the Sabbath succession, as I've mentioned, for one to understand the theme of science of Godhead will be a difficult job. So it should never be heard from a professional Bhagavatam reciters who are there. livelihood by gratifying the science of the sense senses of audience so prabhupada always criticize a professional reciters because they have a exterior motive to just earn money so prabhupada says that that is that is uh, uh, 
uh, way to contaminate and also uh over the says who is residing bhagavatam to earn money and using that earning money in the sense get education especially the sex life or as a very poisonous effect and uh, if you see sometime people that na we had radha smi people talks about radha radha and they talks about so many uh, uh intimate past times of krishna with the gopis and so many other things prabhupada was very very careful Prabhu does not give much detail in form. Even Sukhdev Goswami, he found unqualified himself to utter the words of Radha Rani. And Prabhu Pada was more so careful because he knew that if we, because uh, Prabhu Pada gives one example, if one cow sees one fire or uh, so even any red things look like a fire for the cows any red thing so similarly we have a lot of material conception about uh, about relation between the young boy and young girl so so prabhupada was very careful uh, so otherwise instead of uh, thinking that it will help it will contaminate the mind so whatever uh, the uh, the the requirement whatever the best way can help to purify our consciousness so that's the reason for the says uh, sometime uh, when they hear is all uh, the rasadans uh, being uh, instead of purifying it will contaminate their mind so when we hear from uh, one of its future master is the same as hearing from krishna so this is uh, mentioned by sanjaya to uh, dhritarashtra in the bhagavad gita all we must know there's a famous verse in the very last uh, he is mentioning vyas prashadat chutvan etat guhyam aham param yogam yogeshwarat krishna sakshat kat yata swayam so vyasa prashadat chutvan chutvan here so by the mercy of vyasa who is her sanjaya na sanjaya could able to uh, relate the whole bhagavad gita as we know beginning he was able to hear what krishna was speaking and he was relating so by he could able to hear because of vyasa prashadat chutvan etat guhyam aham param same guhyam knowledge yogam yogeshwarat krishna sakshat kathiyata swayam so it is said that vyasa prasadat kutava by the mercy of vyasa i have heard this most confidential talk directly from the master of all mysteries krishna who was speaking personally to arjuna vyasa was a spiritual master of sanjaya and sanjaya admits that it was by vyasa's mercy that he could understand the supreme personality of godhead this means that one has to understand krishna not directly but through the medium of a spiritual master this spiritual master is a transparent medium although it is true that the experience is still direct this is a mystery of disciple like succession a spiritual master is bona fide then one can hear bhagavat gita directly as arjuna heard it na as arjuna heard bhagavat gita similarly we can have the same vibration by reading shri prabhupada books bhagavat gita as it is so there are many mystics or yogis all over the world but krishna is the master of yoga system So Krishna's instruction is explicitly stated in Bhagavad Gita, surrender unto Krishna. So, so Narada is a so like this for the beautiful purport is being mentioned. You can all can go through. Uh, Abhay Pada says there is no difference hearing from a one of our spiritual master or hearing from Krishna. So, uh, so here we see uh, uh, even the Swayambhu Manu uh, he is asking. Uh, Uh, his uh, duties uh, within his capacity to do uh, from brahma 
and and Srila Prabhupada has mentioned even uh, there are two disciples one is disciples from Brahma to uh, Swayamuna like this another is Brahma to Narada so Brahma to Narada the disciple succession which Srila Prabhupada appeared is spiritual other disciple succession is called geonological is called uh, material but still even one follow whichever they gradually progress so we will see further uh, between a uh, more conversation between brahma and swayamvara so i'll stop here grintra shrimad bhagavatam ki jay jagat guru shobha pad ki jay nitai gor prem nande hari hari